guys, this is Kraken Kumon back with another video. So here we have this equation. This part of the equation means we have to do it. We have to do minus two times minus two times minus two because of that three up there. That means times minus two three times, which equals two times two is four. Four times two is eight. So that's eight. And there's a minus here, there's a minus and a minus. Since this is an odd number, the minus stays a minus. If it was four minuses, it would be a plus. So it's minus eight. And then we still have this minus two up here. So we've got to do minus eight times minus two, which is, since it's even, the amount of minuses, there are two minuses, it would be a plus. Eight times two is 16. Question two, we have this part, so that would be minus two times two times two. Since it's not in brackets, we only repeat the minus once. So now that would be, just ignore the minus for now, but keep it in your mind. And then two times two is four, four times two is eight. So it would be minus eight, because you remembered that minus from before. But you still got to do minus 8 times minus 2 because of this one here. So it is equal to 16 again because there are two minuses, so it's a plus, And the 8 times 2 is 16. So this minus here, just ignore it for now. Oh, no, don't ignore it, actually. So you have got to. To take the amount of minuses to find out if it's a minus or plus. So here's one minus and has two minuses here and since there's a two up here so there'll be another one like somewhere. So that's one minus, two minus, three minus, four minus. Since it's even it would be a plus. So now you can get rid of all of the minuses. Okay now we are doing this part here which is 2 times 2, because you only have to times it once, because it's a 2 up here. 2 times 2 times 2, because of this one too, which equals 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so it equals 8. Okay. For this one, you've got to do a half times a half times a half times a half because there's a four up here, so you've got to times a half four times. But since four times, there are four minuses, four minuses because you have to do it five, four times, it's even, so it would be a plus, not a minus. So you just take out the minuses this time. So this would equal. What's one times one? One. What's one times one? One. What's one times one? One. So it's one over two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Two times eight is sixteen. One over sixteen. Still, you've got to times it by this one, which would be two times two times two times two times two times 2, which equals, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and then 16 times 2 is 32, and then 32 times 2, because of this 2, is 64, so 64. Now, this is long, you've got to do 1 over 16 times 64. So that's the same as 64 over 16, and 16 goes into 64 four times. So you have your answer, four. For this one, you've got to do minus 2 over 3. No, just ignore the minus, actually, because there are four minuses, so it will be a plus. So ignore the minuses for now. 
times 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 times and this 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 so it equal 16 over 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 27 27 times 3 no sorry I got this wrong 3 times 3 is 9 wait a sec 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 27 27 times 3 is 81 so it's 16 over 81 can that be simplified no so it's 16 over 81 times minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3 that's a times times minus 3 because there are three minus there are five minus threes there so 16 times minus 3 this is getting a little harder but 16 times minus 3 equals minus 48 so if you work out the 16 times minus 3 five times you should get if you did it correctly minus 48 here back in Kumon out